Hey guys, it's Danny. Today we're gonna be repotting the plumeria plant that I got a while back. I know it's long overdue, I just got myself cut up in other stuff, but it is now time to repot it. If you remember, this plant was potted in pure mud and it's absolutely awful. Whenever I water it, water just pulls in the pot, it does not drain very well. And although the plant survived and bloomed, it really wasn't happy. And take a look at those wrinkles in the stem. Even though I tried to soak this mud, I have a feeling it really doesn't reach the roots. So this plant really really does need to be repotted. Even though now is October, I have a funny feeling these types of plants do not go dormant in my climate. They are hardy for this climate, I'm not entirely sure they go dormant, but from the ones that I see, they are in full bloom still, full leaf, they don't show any signs of going into dormancy, and if they do, they might go in January, so I have quite a lot of time. So this is the plant we're gonna be working with today. I'm gonna wear gloves because the sap of this plant can be irritant and toxic. And to be honest, I don't really know how to go about this. Oh, so I'm gonna try to squeeze the pot. Yes, as you can see, this is just so muddy right now. So let's try our luck. Let's try to pull out the plant. Uh, I don't think this is the best idea. This is really horrible right now, but I'm gonna try to remove some of this mud. Oh, it's, it's really horrible, you guys. And frankly, quite, uh, yeah. Now I've read plumerias can do okay in clay medium, but this, I don't know if I can call this a medium. Okay, this is working. And here is our plant. And yes, I believe it was a cutting. We have some roots at this point. I cannot really tell if we're good with the root system or not. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually I'm gonna go at the sink and wash away all of this mud from the root system. And I'll come back with a new potting medium. And we're back, so I washed the root system of my plumeria. It's not impressive, I have to say, but I hope it will do okay with the root system it has right now. And I prepared a pretty large pot with a, a lot more decent medium, in my opinion. I'm using the Compo Guano soil, which is by far not my favorite when it comes to drainage, but with the addition of perlite, it becomes quite decent. And the addition of nutrients actually is beneficial, and I'm seeing that in my hibiscus. Now, I'm not the one that measures stuff, but I believe the ratio here is around 40% perlite, 60% soil, or a little bit more soil. In any case, quite a lot of perlite, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is try to pot this plumeria. I would go a little higher than it was potted. In the old pot, it used to be potted until here or something of the sorts. I'll go until here. You can see the discoloration. I just don't feel comfortable in burying it so much. And we're gonna stabilize it with a stake if we have issues. I think this is okay. And obviously after watering and everything, the soil will go down the soil level, but I'll just add some soil as time goes by. And looking at it now, it's not really that centered, but it's okay. The front of the plant will be that side, and I have more space here, so I'll insert a stake. This is a gardening stake. Um, you can find it at any garden center. And this will help keep my plumeria stable until roots will stabilize the plant. And all that's left is to give this plant a decent watering. I'm gonna water until it starts to come off of the bottom. And this is it for this plumeria. Hopefully now it will have a better life. I will keep you up to date. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to rate it and subscribe for more plant and orchid videos. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! And by the way, the squealing noise you heard along this video, that's Milo. And no, that's not a distress call. It's his happy singing. Believe it or not, it's weird.